To start things off, I just have a clip here that I would like to add a time or two. To do this, we're going to go to the effects panel and type time code in the search box, then drag it onto your clip. All right, and there it is. Now let's go up to the effect controls for our clip and change a few things. First of all, I don't really like this symbol here, so I'm going to uncheck the field symbol checkbox. I'm also going to increase the size of my timer and change its position. For the format property, I usually stick with SMPTE, which is what you see here. But if you want to show the frames instead, you can do that. I'm going to change mine back though. I also recommend changing the time code source to clip instead of media. This way, the timer will begin at the start of your clip rather than the raw source file. Okay, and now when I play this back, we have a nice looking timer in Premiere Pro. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. If this video helpful to learn quickly, hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Then you won't miss any upcoming tutorials.